Hey, Bart Miller here with Cycling Strong. We're at Interbike 2013 and we are having a blast. So, we've got some really cool stuff we're going to bring to you right now. Pierre is here with me. He is the expert on this bike we're going to talk about now. The reason I like this bike is because they really took the time to understand the client before they built the bike. And Pierre's going to get into that a little bit. He's going to talk to us a little bit about the company, a little bit of background about the company, why they went back to this bike and uh, what they're doing now. So Pierre, take it away, tell us a little bit about what made you build this bike, how you come about, the process, and walk me through it really quickly. As, as you probably know, Garneau is well known in triathlon because of all the clothing and the, 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 right. the, the, the uh, triathlon helmet that we launched. And right now, the, the P09, I know, I know that you're going to yeah. probably talk about that helmet. We are. So Garneau in triathlon has always been uh, in a leader position. When we decided to develop that new bike, um, one thing that we had in mind basically was to make sure that we have a bike that is uh, practical for the end user, the age grouper. Those are the people that make the sport. Yeah. Um, so He's talking about guys like me, four years plus. <laughs> uh, so basically, uh, we did focus group in Canada and the US to understand the market. The, the market is global, so we wanted to have the, the, uh, the feedback of uh, all the different market in Europe, US, and Canada. So, a couple of things came out all the time. Uh, obviously, the concern of the age grouper with the hydration was always a concern. Um, the fit to be able to, to ride the bike and be comfortable for all the, even it's a 70.3 or, or long distance, yeah. or depending on the race, they wanted to be comfortable and be able to be fit on the bike. Yeah. So that, that was the concern. Yes, they want the bike to be fast. Sure. That's, that's natural. So yeah. basically what we developed, uh, we worked the bike to be, to be fast with the, the hydration with the bottle on it. So basically, uh, we use a cam tail concept. Uh, the bike is developed to be efficient in a, in a real environment. So basically, from 12 to 18 degree wind yaw, that bike is, that's where the bike is performing better. And it's performing better also when you put the bottle on it. The way that we develop the frame, it's performing better with hydration. So again, this is that's the advantage. Awesome. If you look at the bike, you get, you get super bike that have uh, integrated. The um, thing I like about this bike the most so far is this thing is sexy. I mean, <laughs> if you show up on this sucker, you know everybody's staring at you going, now that is a nice bike. But you know uh, what? You're right. And it's, it's the function that inspired the, the, the yeah. design. So basically, uh, we wanted to have a, a cockpit in front with, uh, with traditional uh, stem and bar. To be to for all the dealers to be able to fit anybody on that bike. That's right. the, that's a great thing. You're not going to be. There, we're not going to sold you a bike and you're going to come back in the shop because you have backache and you're, right. you cannot have a position. That right. bike have been designed for being able to be fit by every dealer. Awesome. So the way that we develop, we work a lot with retool yep. in terms of uh, geometry to be sure that we have all the data in in place to fit the most people. Um, the other thing that we, we noticed when we talked to the, uh, the end user, they, they are always talking, oh yeah, the wind, I'm afraid of the wind right. on the bar, it's yep. tough to, to handle. We, we thought about it. So we, we, we're noticing that the age grouper are using a lot now, the deeper dish, wheel. Deeper dish wheels in the front. Yep. Um, and it's, it's affecting the driving for yep. sure because Absolutely. of the wind. So what we wanted to do here, basically we took a, the, a regular fork, as you can see, you can see a different design yep. on that fork. Yep. That fork is, is, has been designed to stabilize the front end with the wind. So basically, it takes the center of gravity of a regular fork, which is around here, yep. bringing it closer to the, to the, uh, hub. the hub of the, the wheel. So the end effect is the wind got less effect on the wheel. So awesome. basically, when you drive the bike, yep. you're more stable. Yep. So basically, you're more aerodynamic because you move less. Right. So again, always the end user in, in uh, uh, fully integrated with um, with all DA2 and mechanical. Right. Um, one thing also that they were telling us is that most of the the, the, the triathlon bike they don't break. Right. It's tough to get a decent braking. You don't have the braking um, power that you have on a road bike. Yeah. So we have developed. Of course, you have many option on 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 the out there. Yeah, you can use a, a, a hydraulic brake. Right. It's costly when you travel. It's difficult. So we develop our own braking system to get the, the same power that you have on your road bike. Very neat. Front and back. The front, the front uh, can be fully integrated inside, or if you want to, when you travel and you yeah. want to be to be adjustable, it can be uh, on the outside. outside also. So awesome. that's, a, that's a, the little feature that we have. Obviously, the speed is there, the aerodynamic is there. We wanted a bike lighter, but also stiffer. As you can see, a symmetric bottom bracket yeah. to, to maximize the power output at the, at the crank area. Um, so basically, and like you said, when you look at it, it's all function. Yeah. But when you look at it, it's, it 
super sexy as Absolutely a bike. sexy. So that's like, I, I love the bikes. I mean, as far as looks wise, you hit a home run. So the things that I find that are really cool that they've done on this bike, like we said before, the air capability of right here, I have not rode this bike, so I can't tell you, you know, my personal testimony on it. But I mean, the, the thought process of being able to hold that, as you guys know, I ride the MV Deep Dish wheels, and uh, they, you, you do have that problem on your bike. You know, when it's really windy out there, uh, you've got to be very cautious of that. So I'm glad they've thought through that. The braking system, it is a pain. I can't wait to try that out and see the difference uh, of the braking capability of this bike. But the, but the thing I like the absolute most on this bike when I was looking into it is the fact of how they've done the water, uh, the bottles, and that the water bottle actually does help in the aerodynamics of the bike. So I think that's just some really innovative thinking. And uh, Pierre, I can't thank you enough for taking some time out of your inner bike to spend with the cycling fans that we have out there and tell them a little bit about this bike. Thank you so much and hopefully one day I'll it's be able to better. ride one of them. Yeah. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right, keep cycling strong. If you have anybody else you want us to do a review on, make a comment below. Make sure you subscribe to the community. Uh, we're gonna be doing all sorts of updates and uh, we look forward to you being part of our group. Talk to you soon.